Masi sondele, masi sondele, ah, pila no tolo, yelele. The topic we're going to remind ourselves all about this moment is um, patience. And you and I know that patience is one of the aspects that is difficult in man's life but has a very remarkable and positive uh, result. Um, looking at what patience is, patience means waiting for something, endeavor to do something, giving one's time to do something that might possibly not be comfortable or something that is not is is not really is not really coming easy. Patience has to do with endeavor suffering, so to say. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned patience in the Quran in many, many ways. Before we go into what Allah has said, patience is difficult, but in most cases it has a remarkable results at the end of it. For example, our mothers have taken patience. They have endeavored to carry us in their, in their wombs for months. And the result of it is the glad tidings of a new baby. Not only a new baby, at the end of the day, when we grow up, we grow up to become their pride. You can see the result of patience. At the same time, you and I are where we are today. We are enjoying what we're doing today. We're enjoying the fruits of the labor we have expended today. If we have not taken the patience while we're in school or learning the skill, we wouldn't have been getting the result of what we're having today. So it tells you that one has to be patient to get a good result. If our father, our great father, Adam and Eve were to be patient when Allah Almighty Allah has thrown them into the paradise. If they had been patient on what on the rule Allah has given them, not to go near the tree, the forbidden tree, then every one of us, both you and I, and not only them, would have been living in paradise. You can see the result of patience. So if one can be patient, it means one is giving the time away to get a good result at the end of it all. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in Surah An-Nahl, chapter 16, verse 127. He said, Wasbir wa ma sabruka illa billah wa la tahzan alayhim wa la takum fi dhaykim mimma yamkurun. He said, O oh, you Muhammad, fasbir, wasbir. He said, exercise patience. If you excess patience, your patience is not coming but with the help of Allah. So do not be grieved over them and do not enforce yourself. Do not squeeze yourself on what they plan. When the Prophet wasallam brought in this religion of Islam, if he has not gone through patience, the Prophet wasallam wouldn't have achieved what he had. And Islam wouldn't have been as easy as it is for us to practice it today. 
it was met with a lot of with a lot of repulsion but the prophet exercised patience and those with him fi al khusra they also exercised patience with him when it was difficult if that it is then it means today the message we're trying to give ourselves is in whatever condition circumstance we find ourselves we have to be patient we are muslims and what is expected of us is patience when the time is hard the time is bound to be hard it cannot continue to be good when the time is hard we have to exercise patience even when you are praying to allah when you stretch out your hand and you are praying to allah you have to exercise patience allah said alladhina sabaru ala rabbihim yatawakkalun those who are patient and they put their trust on their lord it means even if you pray you request from allah what you want what you want is not just going to come except by the will of Allah. So you have to exercise patience for Allah. Allah knows the best time. And Allah promised in several places in the Quran that in Allah ma'as-sabirin that he Allah is always with the patient ones. So it is one virtue that we have to make sure that we put we imbibe in our life. So in whatever circumstance we find ourselves, let us be patient. Without patience you cannot fast. for you to evade food in the morning till night it means you have to exercise some patience to to be able to get the reward of it at the end of the day and my brothers and sisters in islam allah handsomely reward patience he said wa jazaa'un bima sabaru jannatan wa harira in surah al insan that's chapter uh, 76 verse 12 said jazaa'un bima sabaru they are reward for the patience that they have exercised jannatan wa harira Allah is going to put them in paradise. If you and I are looking for paradise, then it means we have to put patience in our attitude, in our character, it has to be part of us. We have to embed it in our behavior. Hadhihi qawli wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.